two, one, and we're live. Welcome back, ladies and gents, to the podcast. Um, today, I'll be the host, and we're going to be talking about the uh, last book, Like the Pie. Um, and uh, my name is Brandon. I'm Sam. And I'm Steven. So what did you guys think of the book, man? I thought it was, I thought it was solid. Yeah, it was pretty good. Like, out of 10, I'd probably give it about 8, 7, or 8. Um, I'd probably give it a 6.5, not a not my style of book. Uh, yeah, uh, I thought it was a little long and uh, it was a little bit of a drag sometimes, everything, but uh, it was pretty solid, the story, I enjoyed it, it was intriguing. Yeah. So, alright boys, I guess I'll just uh, dive right in, Sam? Uh, so we came up with a thematic statement with the significant components and adversities. Yeah, so we this is what we thought would be the best thematic statement for the story. In terms of emotional adversity, the novel Life of Pi by Anne Martell reveals the importance of, of mental strength because throughout the journey of life, one will face many difficulties and having mental strength will help overcome these difficulties. Dude, that's solid, man. I know, it's, we did pretty good. So one of the packed elements that we think relate to our max statement was plot, and when the boat was sinking, that the boat that Pi was on when he traveled to when he to travel to Canada. And uh, I found a quote that Pi said on page 128. He said, despair was a heavy blackness that let no light in or out. So this is, is it like, it's a type of adversity that Pi faced when he was like on the boat, when he was sinking and what he saw. He saw blackness that let no light in or out. Uh, and I think Sam had something similar to yeah, what I, I did. I had the quote sinking as well, but I had a different quote. My quote was on uh, page 107. The ship said, and then later on that page, everything was screaming. The sea, the wind, my heart. Uh, I find this is a good quote because it shows how he is overstressed and he's thinking about everything that's going on and and this is a huge adversity for Pi as it's kind of him facing the fact that he pretty much is going to lose his family and how he might not survive. Yeah so what is kind of like the feeling of loss is going to start taking the better of him as he's floating at sea or um yeah like the mental toughness and uh, that journey of like the boat seeking especially with his family too yeah not knowing you know, the, the outcome of the situation must have been tough for him. Yeah. Mental adversity that he faced was, was tough. Yeah, well, he did seem to battle through it and he actually found one of the lifeboats and was able to get on that and yeah. survive the boat, the boat crash. Yeah, yeah so but he was alone with the animals, which was tough. Yeah, um, so this directly relates to our, to my statement as, like, he struggled with emotional adversity. But it, since he had like a strong, men, like he was mentally strong. A lot of that was religious too. He was very religious. Yeah. So he was mentally strong, and because of that, he could overcome all the adversity that he was facing. All right. So Brenda, you found something about atmosphere. Can you tell us a little bit what you found? Yeah. So like, um, for the atmosphere, kind of like his mood of being on the boat by himself. Um, I kind of. Thought, like being on the raft while well, thinking like your parents are dead and like not knowing where you're going uh on like that what is it called the safe what, the boat that he got like the 20 people boat whatever it's called yeah the lifeboat being on a lifeboat not knowing where you're going with like the animals like the tiger the uh zebra you know all those hyenas and stuff like that uh it must have like drove him crazy and like the mental toughness that he uh had was pretty extraordinary yeah, and uh, yeah insane for him. Yeah. and uh so anyways like a quote that i found on page uh, 131 chapter 44 that like had to do a lot with the point was um as evening approached my anxiety grew everything about the end of the day scared me at night a ship would have difficulty seeing me um the hangies may become active again, and uh, maybe the or- maybe orange juice too. So uh, that must have scared him to death, man. Like thinking that you're on a boat with a hyena, a orangutan, like tiger, like that's that's scary, man. Like, yeah, like you really you can think about that visually, like just pit, you can picture it in your head how, how he's feeling, too, like, like with all these like the hyena, like scary animals on the ship with him, and he has nobody there. With yeah, him. like imagine sleeping, imagine like 
as night comes closer, thinking about like having rest with those animals on the ship, hungry, just waiting to get food. That must have been scary, man. And like how the mood is like always set where it's un like he's unhappy and how he's he doesn't have anything to do. I mean, it's just it's hard when you have these dominant animals who are killing machines pretty much like the hyena and the tiger. Just vicious, vicious, and and they're hungry, sharing a boat and like him continuing to go off of you know. Uh, whatever food he had was pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, it's interesting at that time too. At that quote, he, he had yet to find any of the canisters as well of water. Exactly. Yeah. Uh... Another pack moment that I found supporting our statement was Pi's own character and how he goes crazy on the boat. A quote that I found on page 163 was, "I'm going to die." Later on in that page, he then continues to say, The voice said, I will not die, I refuse it. This shows how Pi is battling with his own emotions on how he, he's going crazy on this boat with nobody to talk to and only a tiger there with him. Uh, and also how he, and how he is able to battle through it and is able to continue to fight. And, in the story, he also says that he is—he he himself is a fighter, and that he is willing to try. He's willing to try anything to survive. Yeah, and I had a similar point to the Elliot when he was reflecting on his life being on sea. So he, in my, uh, when I read it on two, on page two fifty two, he said, "For the rest of the day and into the night, we went up and down until the terror became mon monotonous and was replaced with complete giving up." So he was, at this point, from being on the sh on the boat for a couple of days, maybe more, he was just ready to give up and uh, throw up with his mental strength and his perseverance through all his challenges, he, uh, he did it. He did it. Yeah, and like, I, th I think a huge part of that was like, he was so faithful, like, he had so much faith in his religious, like, beliefs, and like, his father wasn't 100% on board with it, but like, he stayed true to, you know, his, uh, his culture. It's actually quite interesting. There's multiple times throughout the story how he's he's willing to give up and how he mm -hmm. just he doesn't want to continue. But clearly, he's like surrendering. He, yeah. To like. He, but clearly he continues to battle. Yeah. Um, fight the good fight, I guess, and he ends up surviving. He does, yeah. Which was I hard. That, I don't think most people would survive that a day, like from going crazy, from getting eaten. It's like, actually, it's actually quite interesting how you would think that the tiger would make things so much harder, but it actually, it touched with the reason. Yeah, yeah. He, ate, he ate the hyena, he made, eventually, made kind of friends with Pi, in a way. Um, they grew, they, they grew relationships yeah, like, together. What you guys are saying, how people, like, nowadays can do that. This is true, because, People nowadays are way too dependent on their food yeah. and their water. But like he kept going and uh, it's, it's just extremely mentally tough throughout the whole story. And he's just able to battle. And clearly, this relates perfectly to our thematic statement on how he. Mental toughness, yeah. And how he has many emotional adversities of his parents dying and how he wants to just quit up in this way take his own life but he battles through it yeah that's a point in many people's lives when like you're f like even one of your family members pass it takes you a good while to get over when he had his mother father and i believe it was one brother it's so an extremely good strength something like to have that. to be mentally tough I yeah know, exactly if, if you guys think about it he lost his parents like so he was going he's already going through mental issues and he had to stay on a boat by himself with only animals for quite a while. So how, if you could picture that, that would be nearly impossible for most people nowadays. Yeah, it's it's the it's the faith man. I, I believe it's on somebody's phone. Too. Yeah, he didn't have a phone with him. He did not have a phone with him. Yeah. No Wi-Fi, no data, no service. That's Nothing. tough, man. I wouldn't survive a day without the phone. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, so on the last, uh, Brandon, you had the you had the last uh, pack element. It was yeah, setting, the right? yeah, yeah, settings. Um, so uh, 
The setting in which takes place on the raft is a very lonely environment, and all he has is um, his animals, like the tiger, uh, which he only ended off with just the tiger, but he, had, he started off with a zebra, a hyena, um, the orangutan. Yeah. Um, and for the uh, quote that I found that has something to do with it, is uh, he says, I consider jumping overboard and sw- swimming away. But my body refused to move. I was hundreds of miles from landfall, if not over a thousand miles. I couldn't swim such a distance even with a life boy. Uh, what would I eat? What would I drink? How would I keep the sharks away? How would I keep warm? Uh, how would I know which way to go? So uh, that kind of talks about the difficulties of like, you know, like the settings he was around, the environment, the, in the middle of an ocean. All he, you know, when he looks around, he just sees blue and in the sky that's 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 about it and, and what page was that uh, 163 well wow, yeah okay. All right, so now that we're done most of the book and we have like, we've basically covered all the PAX elements. Yeah, I think we covered it. Yeah, so let's just talk about some current issues that are happening. So I found this article, Klobuchar's Mental Health Plan. And basically in the, in the article, it talks about like different ways and different routes you can take to start dealing with your mental health. So it, it's, I believe that mental health is a global issue because people all around the world have the, like, can have this issue right what do you think brandon yeah i think i think everyone deals with um mental health and it's a very important thing today especially with technology this and that and like with this book that we read he didn't have any technology it was just him a raft animals and the ocean right so like so our thematic statement right it derives around the importance of mental strength and this is in this current issue people struggle with mental health and it, this article is teaching us how to overcome it and how to be strong like Pi did throughout the novel. Yeah. Um, what else do you think? Uh, I, I, yeah, I think it's very relevant uh, in today's age. Again, like I said, with technology and like he had to like very much so persevere through loneliness and you know. And this is a serious case because people can actually die like from stress or anxiety or just stuff like that. So. People all I, around the world. I think it's a, I think it's a very good reminder that like it's not that bad. Like whatever situation may be, like we're not stranded on a boat for like days and days yeah. and with you know our whole family that just you know got sunk yeah, by that's a, why a boat. I enjoyed the story. I had a really purposeful. Yeah, it's a good reminder. It's a good yeah. reminder. There's a meaning behind the story. Yeah. So what? Let's hear about yours, Brandon. So an article I was looking through. So I was when I was doing my research, I was thinking about finding an article that has to do with your surroundings and because I'm like too late to the book I think that today is we have our workplace, school, uh, our friends and all that. That how that how those relate to our mental health versus the book, how his surroundings affect mental health. So I found this article uh, titled How Our Surroundings Affect the Way We Think and Feel. And it uh, it talks about how if your workplace isn't a happy place or you don't enjoy what you're doing know like get out of this because it's, it's not helping you in any way and um you know like it, it can get worse also at times yeah, so like the surrounding this pie is surrounded by just water not exactly he, no people just animals that could potentially kill them right exactly so and so yeah i think this is a very relatable article to this book what did you think of? uh yeah it's a very relevant I think the entire world deals with this, no matter yeah. if you're in a third world country, you're in Canada, if you have work for school, uh, you know, you walk miles just to get water. Like, everywhere has their surroundings, their respective surroundings, that will affect your life somehow. And it's, it's the way we deal with it, you know, like, I persevered through all of those adversities, whether it was, you know, like, again, I'm talking about, like, his, uh, his surroundings now. His, his adversity with his surroundings, which was, you know, the external adversities that he faced, uh, you know, he dealt with them strongly, which is, like a, again, like a reminder that it can get worse and you got to persevere through them as, as I did. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what I have is 
global warming, although it's not quite the same as type of adversity. Um, In the article that I read, where there's a bunch of like uh, Ham people from Hamilton who are trying to battle this fight again. There's a bunch of people from uh, Hamilton trying to battle this global uh, global warming problem. With uh, they're making the mental decision to try and fight it. Where that's that's the connection that I made. Where uh, you, everybody needs to make a mental decision to properly recycle and everything. And try and cut down on your time in like cars and stuff like that and maybe carpool uh, and global warming is a very relevant issue in today's world as it, it, it affecting everybody in the world and is a global problem you know that uh to continue what i'm saying like although it may not be easy to connect the two of them um i see the connection as where pi is trying to battle anyhow he's trying many different things to try and survive i feel like that's how where our connection is with global warming is how we need to try many different things to survive and how there are not just one way but there are multiple ways and how we need to uh work with other people just like how pi worked with uh, uh richard parker the tiger yeah and sam i was thinking like all of our articles have been about global issues so this is like an actual serious issue Having mental strength is one of the best things you can have, really. Yeah, it's super you, important. Yeah, yeah we, we, we can't, we can't give up. up. We need to keep fighting to yeah. try and save Yeah. Yep. Alright, boys. I think, I think that, was, that was solid. We were rolling for like, what, 18 minutes now? Yeah, something like that. We covered, we covered all our packed elements, our uh, thematic statement, mm -hmm. uh, our relating it to the real world with our articles yeah so what we're, what the message we're trying to get across for our audience was like mental strength is everything and you, know, and you, can, you can you can be have all these men, uh physical strengths you can be built like mr martyr it doesn't matter if you don't have mental strength man honestly yeah you're gonna everybody goes through some time some time in their life where they're gonna find some type of adversity whether it's physical or mental like you just need to be strong and fight through it so yeah uh, which is which is a very good representation throughout the movie showing high strength like you know doing the right thing always and you know like the, there's people that wanted to differ the story than what it actually was and he he wanted the real story to come out um you know he, he persevered through a lot mentally like physically sure he was fatigued but mentally it was a lot of a harder challenge than his physical yeah well i hope you guys enjoy make sure you guys read life of pi by Ann Martell and yeah read the day. book it was it was a very solid story uh good reassurance of how our lives are not as bad as we may think sometimes yeah, I think it was a solid book. We've been rolling for like 19 minutes now, maybe. So, uh, yeah, that's the podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, it is.